Hey guys, it is Christy K. Today is my birthday, so I decided to do a get ready with me. For today's look, it's gonna be everything glittery, shiny, glamorous, pink. Even my pink matte lip is shiny. Um, if you like this look and you wanna see how I got it, keep watching. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Starting by taking my Tarte Shape Tape and blending it all over my eye, I'm going to be using this as my base. Adding a little bit of translucent powder on the lids. Starting by putting birch in my crease. Then I'm taking Chiro from the Frankation palette and adding that right over birch. Adding Dystopian to the outer V of my eyelids. I'm going to deepen it with Noor, which is the blackest black out on the market. I'm just blending everything out with a clean crease brush. Priming my lids with my NYX glitter glue. I'm applying cyber all over my lids with a flat brush. Just going back in to make sure that everything is blended well. Adding more dystopian for a smoky look. To start my eyeliner, I'm going to take a flat brush in Noor and start creating the lines for my eyeliner. Just blending at the corners with Noor. I'm taking the Stila Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in Diamond Dust and I'm going to be applying that all over my lids. I'm going to be taking the new Benefit Roller Liner and lining my eyes all over the glitter so that the black can stand out. My eyelashes are an Eyelure and Taya collab called Girl Boss, just in case you were wondering. My wine is a port. I'm priming my skin with my Becca First Light Priming Filter. This primer is everything you need in life. For my foundation, I'm using the Becca Skin Love Blurring Foundation. I am in the color Cafe. I love the way this combination makes my skin look. Buffing out my foundation with the Morphe M439, it gives a flawless airbrush finish. I'm just going to go over it with a beauty blender just to make sure that I have the most flawless skin-like finish I can possibly have. So it is the worst thing ever to go into your concealer and run out, but lucky for me, I had backup. I don't think you guys understand how seriously I take my concealer. When I opened this backup, I went and got another backup. Okay, never run out. For me, it's really that serious. I like to add a little Fix Plus to my blender for a smoother blend when I buff out my concealer. I am a full coverage kind of girl, so I just go back in with a second layer of my shape tape. Setting my under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Setting my face with my MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in Medium Deep. I'm going to take the shade Chai from the BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray Collab palette and I'm going to put that in all the places that I applied my concealer. I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha for a little bronzing effect and then I'm going to go back in with the shade Brown Bite to add the deepness for the contour. This is just a mineral brush from MAC. I absolutely love it but I forgot what it's called and everything rubbed up. Just hitting that nose contour with that bronze shade. So for the first round of highlight, it is going to be the Smashbox and Blada Combination Simmer Drops in the color gold and I'm just going to pat them on and blend them in with my Beauty Blender. 
I'm adding more Fix Plus so I can get the full effect of this glow. Highlighter number two is a Dose of Colors Desi Katie collab called Chasing the Sun. Y'all know I'm extra and especially on my birthday I'm gonna be extra. I had to use three highlighters because apparently for me one wasn't enough. My third and final highlighter is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Reezy Collab Highlighter. So to finish it off, I like to take a damp blender and blend it in so I don't look like I have powder sitting on my face. Taking my dark brown Marc Jacobs liner to start smoking out my eye. Going back in with that same brown from the Anastasia palette and blending that into the eyeliner for the smoky effect. Then I'm taking Chero to blend it out so that it's not so harsh. Taking Tarte Man Eater Mascara and blending in my lashes with my real lashes and also applying mascara to the bottom. And just really quickly applying some cyborg in my inner corners of the eyes. I don't know the name of this ColourPop liquid lipstick, but it doesn't matter because it's only a base. So the topper and to keep the glitter and shimmer going, this is Stila Stay All Day in Fuchsia Shimmer. All of those layers cover my beauty mark, so I always take an eyeliner and bring them back. So this is the finished look you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my other videos, go ahead and click to the right or the left. There's going to be some more videos posted for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.